my grandfather started this company. He was a blacksmith by trade in, um, from Italy. Uh, he started in this business making wrought iron rails and um, fences and gates. He was joined in the early 60s by my father who was a Drexel graduate and my uncle who was a Lehigh graduate and they had engineering degrees. My grandfather was just a blacksmith. This facility itself is over 300,000 square feet. Um, we process all material in this plant. Um, none of the, none of the uh, None of the material is fabricated elsewhere. Everything that we ship to a project is done here. If you were to take this picture out with you, take a picture of the screen, you would see exactly this out there in the field. Uh, so this is where it all starts. This is what we take these set of drawings, create the three-dimensional model, um, then this three-dimensional dimensional model is disseminated to different areas of operation. We have uh, people downstairs who handle making all the sub-assembly parts, which are all like these little plates. That plate isn't just individually cut and punched. It comes out of a sheet of plate, which is eight feet by 20 feet long. And that all gets nested into a sheet, sent to a piece of equipment, stamped, marked, drilled, cut, um, tagged, sent to the proper assembly area, um, and then we create a shop detail drawing, which is something similar to this. This isn't one for your project, but then this is handed to a production supervisor on the floor, and he then they f this is this tells them how to put the pieces together to create what we call the shipping piece, which then gets loaded onto the truck and then sent to the job site to be installed. Believe it or not, we generate very little. If you if you want to know how much trash we have, we have one dumpster out front. Oh yeah. Every one, you know, not even a real big one. Um, you'll see like the trash bins, the big bins over here. Everything that we generate, bolts, nuts, even the scrap welding wire, all gets swept up and can get put into a steel container, which then gets picked up, you know, whenever it's full, and they take it back to a scrap yard to get recycled. This is a air controlled area so you don't get impurities in the air. You get blasted with a shot blast and then you can see how it turns it into that color and then now it's ready to accept the paint. So all those, see how they're green? That's the primer so it doesn't bleed and then the white's the finish coat. So those are all primed getting ready for a finish coat and these, that one has his first coat of finish on there. Annually we're um, we're audited to make sure that all of our processes meet uh, current codes. So that's another one of my primary jobs to make sure that the operations that we're doing in the shop uh, produce a product that meet the building in um, steel codes. That's the Drexel beam, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, but that's the last beam that they're. That's the beam they're going to raise for the topping out ceremony.